All right, y'all. Welcome back to another Ask a Dev live stream addendum. This is an addendum to the stream we did this morning, which was animation blueprint number three. We were talking about layered blend per bone, aim offsets, all kinds of stuff. We had a blue screen of death, which um, definitely sent things into a little bit of a tailspin towards the end. Uh, even though I figured out how to do the actual layered blend per bone, and I posted that in the comments after I looked at my notes, I thought it would be good to just go ahead and do it live um, just so that we had that as reference because I think it is a good kind of culmination of everything we learned about additives, layered blend per bone, and aim offset. So this is going to be really quick. If you haven't seen the original from this morning, uh, check out the card that's listed here, the link down below and uh, you can kind of catch up to what I'm talking about. So let's just hop straight back into Unreal and let me show you where we were. Uh, we were basically working where we had our aim working, our aim offset working. The problem or the interesting thing about this is it uses truly additive animations. And if we were to connect our additive animation into our previous method, which was the layered blend per bone, what ended up happening when we compiled that is because of the values and the offsets, our character basically got cut in half. Now, in order to fix this, I was looking for the checkbox or whatever it is, and, and a lot of Unreal is checkbox hunting, but in this case, what I actually needed is called apply additive mesh space. So if we right click out here, and we choose apply additive a mesh um, apply mesh space additive. What this does is this allows us to take an additive animation, apply it to a base pose, and plug it into whatever we were doing previously. So we know that our blend space for our aim is now mesh space additive because all the source assets for that we had to convert to mesh space additive in order to create our aim offset. So let's plug this into the additive. That's the additive. And the trick is we need something to go into the base pose. If we just plug this in, this is going to, we're not going to have everything we need to plug it all in. So what we need is we need a base pose. Now there's a couple different things we could potentially use for our base pose just to get this working. But unfortunately, or fortunately, what we really want to use is we need to have an understanding of what we created our additive relative to. Now, in our case, when we built our additive animations, we built them relative to the idle. So the base pose that we want to plug into our mesh space additive, in this case, I'm just going to use the idle. Uh, so our MM idle. I'm going to plug this into my base pose and I'm going to compile that. And you'll notice that my hand kind of comes down back to where our forward is. Now, by doing this, we are now taking our additive animation and we're applying the, it to the base pose that we have and then we're connecting that into our layered blend per bone. The reason that that's great is because now when we're playing, we can look left and right you can see we kind of get a little bit of our twist. We have our ups and downs and we have our ability to run. Now, remember the difference between using, and that's actually a whole other thing we could do a tutorial on as well, but the difference between doing this with the additive is, uh, I'm sorry, versus the layered blend per bone versus the aim offset, as I was mentioning, was the nice thing about using the layered blend is we can mask out the arm so we can still do our character um, we still get our character running and everything like that. So the trick or the key in this case was a little bit of understanding of applying this mesh space additive into our blend pose zero. And it's kind of the culmination of any, everything. So now at this point we can choose if I want to, I can plug in straight to our aim offset. And now we can actually take a look if we compile that. We can actually take a look at what these animations look like compared, comparatively speaking. In this particular case, even though this looks great when we're in here, it's a little bit wonky when we're, uh, when we're running because we're not going to be able to shoot while we run. So that's why uh, I like this layered blend per bone, this layered blend per bone in 
the usage of this particular tutorial. It's a great example that helps bring to light some of the fundamental differences between a layered blend per bone and aim offset additive assets, additive poses and animations and how they all go together. So I just thought that was an important wrap up. Like I said, very quick, short and sweet addendum to the stuff that we were talking about this morning. As always, thanks for checking out the vid. If you need to check out the original, go ahead and click the links down below or in the cards at the beginning of this one. And I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week. Thanks for watching as always. Take it easy.